This week we are in Tasmania, apparently the most beautiful state in the whole of Australia. And we have heard so many incredible things about here, but so far it hasn't been as easy as we thought. Okay guys, so um, things are not going very smoothly right now. A few days ago we actually got woke up and moved on. I'm not sure if Tasmania is going to be as easy to park in as we thought. Uh, guys, I was hoping this would be like super chilled, but it's not feeling very chilled right now. It's not. Pretty narrow and gravelly. It's getting narrower. We should definitely not go down that any further. If only somebody looked at the reviews before driving to this the place. The reviews didn't say anything about this. <laughs> man, oh man, this is crazy. Well, we didn't have this weather in the outback. Oh, guys, feeling a little miserable right now. Uh, a slight hiccup to our plans. This is where we came to die. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Dear Lord in heaven. I think we got an unfair representation of Tasmania in our first week. Tasmania is not going very great right now. So we're going to bring you guys along to experience our first impressions together and let you guys see what this island is really like. Good morning guys. Um, I need coffee. Good morning! <laughs> Coffee, 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 coffee. Can we make that a song now? <laughs> <laughs> this is actually good. I don't know how, because we're using the same coffee, the same pot, the same water, but Philly's coffee always tastes better. But I made this, but you poured it. Maybe it's in the love of the poor. <laughs> it's just the love. Guys, it's just all about putting love into everything you do. <laughs> you know? And I just put a little bit of extra love into making the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we were meant to get up like an hour and a half ago to go to this waterfall. <laughs> Keely's a different person in Tasmania. She's looking to do all this, these hikes and excursions. Just trying to look after my body, guys, you know? When did you ever say that? Um, I went through a phase of this last year as well. <laughs> okay, so it's going to last a few days. I'm, I'm here for it. <laughs> guys, Keely spilled my full cup of coffee all over this mat. She's trying to sabotage me <laughs> so I don't wake up so that she can overtake me on the hike. Is this sabotage? I'm sorry, I'll make you another one. Guys, this is the unforgivable sin. Spilling another person's coffee. If you did it to me. Oh. All hell would break loose. Maybe it's a sign that we just have to walk 200 meters down the road to the coffee shop. You can, do you want to go get yourself a soy cappuccino? Do that. No, okay. can. You can. Okay. I'm not you can. That. We have our own coffee, that's we should apology. make it. That's my apology. <laughs> This has been a pretty decent park up. It's just a, a gravel car park, but it's pretty flat. This part of Tasmania seems to be pretty remote. People seem to flock to the east. So we're gonna to travel to the west. It's fun just watching you exist. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yay! With love. Thank you so much. It might be very strong. That's the way I like it. I'm just gonna do this. A safari! Check that thing out. I feel like there's a bit on the edge. I just splattered it in my eye. But what do you think about this banana? Fun shape. That's what she said. Does it get much better than this, eh? Oh, yeah, 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 it does. What do you say? What do you say? I'll get it better. Just on top? Mm -hmm. On the bananas? Ruined. Ruined. Ruined it. Ruined. Oh, Philly, I ruined it. <laughs> guys, why have I no finesse? Oh, my pancake burn. Alright, guys, we're about two hours behind schedule. <laughs> Maybe three. If we want to get this hike done today, we gotta to leave. 
Also, um, I've told him that we need to stop at a shop, so I'm setting us back even more time because I need more vegetable ingredients for my sandwiches and I need a ginger beer. Yeah. Need? need I need is desire yeah. a ginger beer. It's very, um, like, Jurassic feeling, isn't it? That is beautiful. Where are we? <laughs> Another reason I love Tasmania right now is that when we put our next destination in, in the sat-nav, it says 15 minutes <laughs> instead of 6 hours. It's like we're tracking through the jungle here. <laughs> it's so weird. Like, look at the tree fern combo. <laughs> How big are those ferns? Look at the size of these ferns! <laughs> High five! Hey! Hey everybody! Hello! Hey! Hi friends! Hey! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, place your bets now. Is it going to be super busy? Or is it going to be really quiet? I think there's going to be three cars, what do you think? I'm going to say five. Okay. Oh, I thought I was right, but there's two sides to this car park. One, two, means... three, four, five, um, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, oh. eleven, twelve, <laughs> thirteen. <laughs> All right, then. Okay, there's actually quite a lot of vehicles. So we're not going to be alone here, and that's what we get for starting off three hours later than originally planned. We're all here experiencing the same beauty, and you can't fault anyone for that. Oh, of course not. All right, so we managed to stop at a shop. We got a couple of Bundabergs to celebrate our hike to the waterfall and Keely opened hers already. Keely! Guys, I couldn't resist. It was just there and it was cold and it was zesty and... Now you've got nothing to celebrate with? Yeah, when I get to the waterfall and I'm complaining, you can remind me of this moment. You're complaining and I'm enjoying my traditional Bundaberg lemonade. Okay, I better make these sandwiches and we better go. I want to say a huge thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring today's video. Because we're on the road all the time, we're connecting to loads of different public Wi-Fi's, so we need an extra level of security to protect our devices, and we do that by using NordVPN. And if you don't know, a VPN is a virtual private network, and it effectively puts a middleman between us and whatever it is we are connecting to. It encrypts all of our data, it masks our IP, and also you can make your IP address look like you're in literally any country you want, which means you can get access to all different streaming libraries, and also, some countries offer much cheaper subscriptions for online platforms, just saying. But most importantly guys, the reason we really think everyone needs a VPN is to help protect their personal information, especially financial information because we have heard too many horror stories now of people getting scammed online. So if you're interested in NordVPN, I really can't recommend them enough, you just click on the link down below or go to nordvpn.com forward slash chapter and you will get four months free with their two year plan and thank you so much Nord VPN for sponsoring this video. Keely's complaining. Guys, I honestly, like, I've not recovered from yesterday. My calves are on fire and my ass. Like, my butt muscles, I mean. So... <laughs> this is also your idea? I'm really hoping that as we start walking, they'll loosen up, because right now they are tight. <laughs> right, sandwich. Alright guys, we are finally ready to go. Yes. Aren't we? At this point, I don't think it matters. We just need to leave. <laughs> Otherwise, we're never going to get to this waterfall. A lot more people have arrived in the amount of time it's taken me to make sandwiches. Let's go. Let's go. See you later. Okay, I literally haven't took one step on the trail and already I think it's beautiful. <laughs> like, this is already beautiful. There might be a whole lot of other people here, but the question is, are they as cool as us? I mean, guys, look at my hat. I mean, look how cool we are. <laughs> Not. <laughs> So 
so apparently this trail follows an old tram line and you can see it just there and it looks very cool I don't know what the tram was for but it looks cool Strava update we've done just over three kilometers oh, sorry I'm really stretching I'm stretching my oh hi guys <laughs> I'm tight, but this is really easy. I'm like, Philly, only two more kilometers until I can eat my sandwiches. We're hikers. We're yeah. hikers. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go get a sandwich. Yes, please. My feet are a bit wet. Are those your hiking shoes? Yeah. It's beautiful. Guys, we made it. We made it to the waterfall. Know if it would be very wow, but it's very wow. Wow, it's actually wow. <laughs> that is so wow. wow. Guys, look at this. Look where we are. <laughs> like it actually is so beautiful. Yes, it's so beautiful. Oh, and the sun's come out, and it's just really nice, isn't it? This is pure magic. Look at this. How crazy is this? Oh, it's still going. It's still going. There it is up there. <laughs> Guys, are you witnessing this? <laughs> this is insane. I'll be honest guys, I really didn't know if it would be like underwhelming, but it's really beautiful. It's so tall, so thin, it's really cool, really cool. Okay guys, so obviously I'm excited about getting to the waterfall, <laughs> but I'm equally excited about eating my sandwiches. Yeah. Sandwiches at the waterfall? What yes, better please. way to celebrate? Yes, please. Oh yes. Cheers. You enjoying that sandwich? Very good sandwich if I say so myself. How long did it take us? Beautiful. Guys. Come here. This place is cool. Man, it's just something about nature. And it's such an easy hike, guys. Definitely come. You can do it. Come on, pick your flights. Let's go. <laughs> okay, let's go do this rope bridge. Uh... Okay, so there's a suspension bridge that's just before the waterfall, but there were people on it when we were coming down here. So we're going to go back and check it out. It looks pretty gnarly. Um, I hope you're not afraid of heights. So it's very thin and I was not expecting this level of thinness. It's a bit wobbly. Go on. I don't think you're meant to come on it with me. Are you? I think I'm you'll be alright. So. What's it like? Um, I don't think you should come. I don't think you should come. Do you think you should come? I don't know. No, Philly, I don't think I like it. Whoa, this is crazy. No, Philly, I don't think I like it. Like, this gap is enough to lose a child through. I don't think that's a safe gap. Like, do you? Like, I'm pretty sure kids could just, like, write down that. Not you, though. Not me, not with this ass. <laughs> what do you reckon, guys? Would you do this? Would you do this? Were you shaking it? She was shaking it on me. A significant amount of this looks like it's held together with cable ties. I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> yeah, let's get off it before it breaks. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Is that a yawn I see before me? That is a yawn. And also, like, why have my legs not loosened up? They're still <laughs> tight as anything. Another 5k will help that. <laughs> right, guys, this ended up being a pretty fun activity. Mm -hmm. Nice little excursion mm -hmm. to see in the oh. day. We'll save you from the 5k walk back. 
you rest yourselves, put your feet up, grab yourself a cup of tea. <laughs> we'll see you in a few minutes. Is this ever gonna end? We've walked 9.9 .9 kilometers, so <laughs> if this is a 10k loop, that means the end is, the end is nigh. Yeah. You right there? Just stretching my body, it's just stiff now. Come on, my heart, please. Where's the van? <laughs> Let's go up that hill. Someone's gonna need a massage later, eh? Yes, please. I'm sure there's somebody in the neighboring town that could do it for you. I know, I was gonna say, it's not gonna be you, is it? <laughs> oh, I'm stiff, man. You have the keys? No, I don't. You do? I'm not doing this joke with Kitty, you. Got the Guys, keys. he doesn't trust me with the keys. Kitty, that would never keys. happen. But after that one time in Scotland. You've got the keys. Okay, guys, so the van keys were inside my jogger pockets. And they're no longer in my jogger pockets, which means somewhere on the walk back to the beach, we've lost our van keys. Oh, guys, he doesn't look like he has keys. This is really bad. This is really bad. My heart's starting to hurt. This was a very long, very sandy beach. <laughs> no, Where are the keys, Keely? Have you put them in this bag or something? Is that the joke? <laughs> Risky business. Oh. You know what's the, the best thing about finishing this wee hike? Is now we can enjoy our bundies. Oh, that's right, you drank yours. <laughs> no, I can enjoy my bundy. Oh, sorry, Keely. I'm not gonna lie, that looks pretty ice cold. Oh, that is so refreshing. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Come on guys, you don't think I'm that much of a tease. Here you go. You gonna let me have a sip? Yeah, of course. Actually. You idiot. Aww. You think I'm that mean? Oh my word, that's so cold. That is so refreshing. Oh man, life, I'm stiff. I'm Philly, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Philly and stiff. Is that on your channel name? Anyway, we have to get some LPG guys and there is a station on beyond here towards the coast So I'm very happy that we're gonna hopefully see the sea Let's do this. We'll see you there Let's go. We are the epitome of health right now <laughs> I don't know if you've seen but we've done two hikes <laughs> in consecutive days Is where there used to be a petrol station. A uh, slight hiccup to our plans. So we drove all the way to this little coastal town in the search of LPG and there's no longer a petrol station. It literally doesn't exist. And when I contacted the phone number, the a lady answered from a different petrol station and was like, oh yeah, no, there's no LPG anywhere around here. So there you go, we managed to get all the way out of Uluru on LPG, but we couldn't get to a beach in Tasmania. <laughs> yeah, the next station is literally the other side of Tasmania, on the other <laughs> side of the coast. What do we do now? Well, let's go see if the, the park up that is meant to be here exists, or if it's also been knocked down. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we just passed a police car followed by like three other campers and I'm like Are we allowed to camp here or did they just get evicted? Time will tell. Time will tell. It says we're pretty much here guys, but there's not really anything here. And it, what is this? Should we get out and walk and check? <laughs> Cause like it looks like we've already passed where it was, Philly. Like I didn't see any 
lay bys or anything, you know? It's looking pretty gnarly, isn't it? We should definitely not go down that any further. I'll go check that. Bye! <laughs> it's just this for as far as you can see, and there's no place to turn. So we gotta reverse. Thankfully, mm -hmm. Dingo is small. That's, that's definitely like four wheel drive territory there. There's absolutely no way we're meant to go over there, right? I mean, this would be beautiful if we can get down here. It's looking a little bit, maybe four wheel drivey. It's very soft underfoot. I did see another rig down in the back corner. And I think that that might be the only place that you can camp here because the rest is just access. It gives torrential rain this weekend. Mm -hmm. So I just don't think it's a good idea to stay in like a forest where it can be super muddy. Yeah, I think we'll get stuck there. But I'm tired and hungry, man. I'm, I'm going also to drive tired all the way hungry. back up that road. If only somebody looked at the reviews before driving to this place. The reviews didn't say anything about this, okay? <laughs> So, sheesh. <laughs> just like that LPG station, if somebody just looked up oh. the reviews, they might have seen that somebody said that it's moved and it's closed and doesn't do LPG anymore. I joke, it's my responsibility as a driver, but maybe a little bit of responsibility as a chief navigator. No, it's a word team effort and um, now we have to go back up this road and find somewhere else. Oh, the realities of van life, eh? Is it? Is what happens? Back in the road, baby. Getting dark. Dark and bumpy. Uh, it's beautiful. That it is. And you can see a lot of rain in the distance. Oh, hell. that feels good. Kaylee always gets her wet. Yeah, so there's a beach here that I was like, oh, let's go to the beach. But he wants to stay on sealed road and go to the next town to park up. So as we got to the junction where the decision was to be made, we indicated off to the beach. Because I can't be bothered listening to you moan about not going to the beach. Yeah, but I also can't be bothered listening to you moan about unsafe roads. <laughs> so so lose, lose. <laughs> lose, lose. <laughs> oh baby, oh baby, I see the sea. I see the sea. No camping day use only, yeah. Okay guys, so um, things are not going very smoothly right now because as we've pulled up to this place it has a sign that specifically says you're not allowed to stay here overnight, day use only. And there's also absolutely zero internet signal here. So Tasmania's not going very great right now. No LPG, oh, also campsites were all out of water, they're waiting for a delivery of water, whatever that means. And yeah, it's very windy. And it's very rainy. The beach is absolutely beautiful and the nature is beautiful but I'm not like sure about parking so far to be honest. We actually, um, I don't think we caught it on camera. A few days ago we actually got woke up and moved on from a campsite even though it was a campsite because we don't have a proper toilet so I'm not sure if Tasmania is going to be as easy to park in as we thought. I think we had very high hopes and so I far... I it would be super chill and relaxed and you could just park anywhere. Yeah, but we've got moved on once. We've now seen the police move other people on and there's a sign here saying you're not allowed to camp here. Hmm. I'm really tired and hungry, guys. Me, me also. Me also. Uh, guys, I was hoping this would be like super chilled, but it's not feeling very chilled right now. It's not. It's not. I don't know what to do. There's no internet, so I can't even look up anywhere to go park. We're on petrol, baby. On um, petrol. What? The villain is definitely her. Me Daniel. Well, we didn't have this weather in the outback. <laughs> Feels like we're right at home. Man, oh man, this is crazy. It gives it to be like this for the next three or four days. So we're going to have to find somewhere I don't know, to park up and try to stay dry and be under some trees or something. What do you think? I think, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can't think without oh, food. I just need food, man. I just need food. Guys, we haven't eaten since that our sandwich. sandwich. Very good sandwich, if I say so myself. Oh, guys. Feeling a little miserable right now. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Road train. This is 
was where we came to die. <laughs> Dear God. That's the remains of someone's house. Don't know what that is. What that is. What that is. What that is. Um, I feel like we're kind of ending this on a diner here. I mean, get out. It's not that bad. I'm just getting straight on food. An old TV. I don't know what that is in there. I'm not going in any further. The mattress, I think. And then just some more bits and pieces. We could build a house out of this stuff. There's a whole load of tires. There's your curtain. It's raining. I'm cooking inside then. I literally like, this is really like... Sorry guys, our battery died. This whole night seems to have been like an elaborate troll. Yeah, just get in man. Just Let's just eat food and go to bed and just make this day be over. <laughs> So the clouds are rolling in and it looks like it's going to be a super wet night. Thankfully though, Keely's cooking up a storm. Van's a bit of a mess right now as well. What are we doing? Honestly, this is not a vibe. It's not. It's fun, it's not a vibe right now. <laughs> Keely's made food, what have you made? I've made a chilli with avocado and feta and rice etc. Chilli goodness. Um, I also tasted it and I made it far too spicy, so you're gonna love it. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. It looks awesome. I'm pooped, so I'm just gonna eat this food and we're gonna watch TV and we're gonna pass out. Sounds, Sounds good to me. Um, first impressions of Tasmania, very beautiful. Uh, but maybe parking might be harder than we thought, who knows? You'll have to come back next week and see. Yeah. Good night, guys. Love yous.